what is ng model keep alive how we can implement in angular application let's see today for the purpose i already have added a component it is an empty component you can see that if i show you the ts file to implement that we first need to install two packages let's go to the package.json so i already uh, added those two lines ng idle core and ng idle keep alive uh, these two versions are compatible with angular 13 so currently i am using angular 13 cli uh, so i have to install those two for that one i will open my cmd and i will hit enter with npm i it will install all the remaining packages or newly added packages all right it's done let's go and jump into the first file is uh, going to be the app module file so here we need to list module here to use ng idle keep alive inside application so for that one i will go here and i will try to add first thing first uh ng idle keep um alive module like this and that's i think it for app module uh, i will jump back to the um, to my component and here i will start with my um constructor here i need to include idle from that package um and the second thing i need is um private change detection why it's required i will describe that later application to observe that uh, we need to use that change detector ref inside this uh, tutorial after that i need to list some variables um, first thing first um, i can add idle state uh let's name it not started and uh that would be of type um string like this let's write some logic inside the constructor starting from ideal dot uh i would say the uh set idle for five seconds so this is a time interval after that the application will uh change its state to idle next uh i will configure the set timeout so after idle application goes into idle state and for next five minutes it will stay there and after five uh, not five minutes five seconds and after five seconds it will get time out and uh, idle dot next thing is to set interrupts and for that one i will use uh, default um interrupt sources and that means all those um interrupts like mouse move click key press and etc all are included in those set of sources uh so that is for that um setup uh next thing i would like to add is to subscribe few observables not all uh we will start with few more more required ones so i will start with on idle um and let's see what happens once idle phase is ended uh once it's ended i would like to set this is when application goes into idle state and uh, user interact the application again and it will again came back to normal state i will say that started um and uh yeah so 
here we will need the change detection thing so depending on change detection strategy uh, your application is using it may not trigger that you know idle state changes so for that one you may need to detect manually by calling that method okay next thing would be idle dot um, it's it's it has another um, sub, uh, observable which is time out dot subscribe like this and uh, here it means application is timed out and we can't do much in that case normally uh, when we uh, apply those you know idle state detection we used to log out the application on timeout so user has to log in again idle state i would say should be timed out right and let's see what else we can uh i think we can go with another one um which is idle i guess idle ended idle on idle end it means application was in idle state and user interact with the application again and the idle state is over now so for that one i would say this dot idle state should be um um, what can say on idle ended we have on idle ended already so on idle started uh, it should be on idle start and i can name it like uh, idle also we have consumed these three observables and after that i would like to do one more thing which is to create a method at the very bottom and i would name it like um set states let's say and inside this i will try to set up idle to watch this component and idle state to be just started and the last thing is um yeah i think we can go with those two uh, lines and on init we can initialize this dot set state on it we can just set states um, by calling that set states method so uh, that is it probably uh, what else we need um, don't think so we need further anything uh, let's see how our application is doing uh, just by calling ng serve and see what is happening so i already have um run that ng serp so previously i um run ran the command npmi to install those packages and now i have uh, ran the ng serve command so application seems started all right so uh what we can do next is um to show you guys the application all right so this is the application all right and um, i already have added this out so um currently i have two examples ngx exam ngrx example and ng idle keep alive example when i click on that one uh, currently it's displaying me the active green um let me go to the this component okay so i already have wrote some uh 
lines here so whenever state is idle uh, idle state is started show green and show active text whenever there is idle which means now we have moved to idle state show orange and after five seconds when this state will be time out so we will be show logged out with red background so if you see we already logged out and if i refresh you can see now and if i keep moving my uh, cursor it will keep active let me stop moving my cursor now one two three four five and i'm on idle state and if i move that again i will be back in active state and one two three four five and now i am again in idle state four five and i'm logged out once i'm logged out it will not reset its state we can do that we can consume you know that set states method uh, and we can show somewhere a button to log in again and once we click on login we can reset those states as well so this was all around the ng uh, idle keep alive uh, package uh, to how to implement that so this is the very basic scenario and we have consumes very few variables uh, just to keep things simple so that was all for this uh, video i will push all those changes uh, into the same repository which is in my profile name with learning angular so i will push all those um new things here um what i will see um, ng idle example implementation like this let me commit this one and push the origin let me show you guys my repo as well so if you guys go to um, github.com and here if you go to search for my profile and you must have seen all my repositories and once you go to repositories list you will see that learning angular and we have pushed those changes just now so all the code is already there uh, forget the naming of the route folder i will update that at some point but all the code is there in that source uh, it has all the routing implemented and i will try to add examples in different components so that you have all all those examples in a single application um, with a single dashboard so that was all for this uh, video and in case of any question or queries do ask in the comments and keep watching and keep coding